What's up you guys? Back for the next installment. It's your boy Shock today. Back at you with another Crimson Rampage Reveals. Class 1H getting this first hero on the board with Mei Hatsume. Don't know where Class 1B is at? Don't care. This video ain't about him. Now, Mei Hatsume is a very interesting character. Love seeing us go further into new people that we that don't have any support, any shine quite yet. Now let's jump into her, her card. She is a five-hander with 28 life in the bank. She is on the all evil and life symbols. She shares all with Jiro and Momo, very interestingly. She also shares life with Aoyama, so just kind of note that for a second. Now let's jump into those effects. Before the game begins, a la Eraser Hit, search your deck for four copies of Box Full of Babies and remove them from the game. Now, I just see this being like a little bit of a ruling coming up, so just throwing it out there, maybe I can get this clarified. I'm pretty sure the way normally card games rule this is you have to search for all four copies or none. So if you don't own four copies of Box Full of Babies, just know you might not be able, you probably won't be able to remove those to start the game. You must have four, I would think. I would like to get that confirmed by someone higher up the food chain than me, but that's usually the way they rule that. So now we have first form. Build one copy of Box Full of Babies from your Remove From Game pile. So remember, build is take the card and put it in your stage, face up and ready. So you will add another copy of Box Full of Babies every turn from turn one to turn four. Now we also have Enhance. Flip one foundation face down. Your tech or weapon attack gets plus one damage for each asset in your stage. So you're gonna be able to add plus one on turn one, plus two on turn two, plus three on turn three, plus four on turn four damage for, e for each foundation for each attack. That's pretty nutty. Giving plus four damage to your attacks. Pretty, you know, pretty mid game. It's going to be really interesting to see how Mei Hatsume is going to attack people. That's also the reason I brought up that she does play with Aoyama on life if you want to unflip some of those foundations instead of destroying them. Now, we can't talk about Mei Hatsume until you really talk about her asset. This is because her character brings the asset in. This is really an extension of her character. You can't grade the character without grading the asset. Box full of babies. One difficulty, five control check. Two block modifier of at the mid range. Normal stats there for an asset especially. Now let's get into that effect, shall we? Enhance, once per turn during your turn, draw one card, discard one card, unless your character is Mei Hatsume. So the first turn when you have one box full of babies, if you can attack, you're gonna draw an extra card. Turn two, you're gonna be drawing two extra cards. By the time you get to turn four, Mei Hatsume has just became a nine hander every turn that you play an attack. That is gonna be bonkers and it's it's for free notice that there is no cost to this you just draw a card and your character has to be made hot to me now get into that second enhance commit this card your tech or weapon attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage now if you're trying to go in swing for game and you have three or four box full of babies on the board you can do you can commit three of them get plus three plus three to an attack and then also you use the character card, flip a foundation, and get plus four, or plus another plus three rather in this case, to the attack. You're getting plus three speed and plus six damage to the attack before you even get into your foundations. That can be extremely problematic for any defensive st structure. Mei Hatsume is just out here swinging with all the resources necessary. She's gonna be a problem. Okay, uh, absolute problem. You can also run her with the other assets for like earphone jack and Momo's quick creation. You can, if you run her on life, you can run her with the Treshi cape, which also gives another uh, asset for her foundations. When you flip face down, the enhance, the character enhance. That's just nutty. All right, she's a she's at one hundred percent meta on arrival. She's killing it. Notice also at the bottom of her character card, she is character number twenty eight, meaning she will get a full eight cards of support to back her up. 
it's going to be interesting seeing people try to play against this type of aggression that is just based on having more resources and those resources naturally giving you more speed and damage she's out here it's going to be very interesting i cannot wait to build this deck I got nothing else for you guys today. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. As always, you know, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you get down there in the comments. Let me know what you guys thought. Smash that like button. Get subscribed. Ring the bell so you never miss another video. And I'll see you in the next one.